Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, joined by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And we should have a tremendous game of football. It's Brundby and they face Slavia Prague. Thanks, Derek. Good atmosphere here. Everybody looking forward to what should be a really entertaining game. This is the lineup for the home team. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5 3 2 or 3 5 2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre backs, but it does enable you to play two strikers up front. This is how the visitors will set up today. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And now they get the ball rolling. It's with Masopust. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Crossing possibilities. He must finish. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Danger averted for now. Well, they were so close to taking the lead, weren't they? They just have to keep creating scoring opportunities and surely the goal will come. This looks promising. And will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Masopust. Nikolai Stanchiu. Delightful pass. And in with a real chance. Given the position he was in, he's not going to be especially pleased with himself. Well, he took the chance with power. Not always the best option. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Abdullah Yusuf Helal. And that's an important intervention. My oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Traore. On the ball, Shevchik. Stanchiu. Less than convincing defending. And that is how to thwart them. Straight down the throat of the opposition. And slipped through beautifully. Great block. And firing it into the area. Well, it all counts for naught. He's found a pocket of space. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball.
So it's going to be a goal kick here. Not a good pass. It's with Masopust. And very deftly cut out. Well, Derek, there's nothing between these two teams in terms of possession. Can someone take control of this game? Take a few more risks? Hopefully we'll see a goal soon. Stanchio. Traore. Could be a chance to break here. And he's broken free. He's got to score. The first goal of the match. And the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure has taken its toll. Well, let's see this again. Look at the defence doing their job. Now we're going to see the forwards do their job. Breaking at pace. The counter-attack so, so difficult to stop. And just look at the finish. The opening goal of the game, then. And on the ball, Jan Borgil. Dealing with the threat that was real. And teammates to play it to. Well, far too much on that particular cross. Kufal on the ball. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Into the advanced position. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And the ball is in the net. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. Olayinka. Abdullah Yusuf Helal. Well, body in the way. Still looking for space. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And so it is, the first half story has been written. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Borgio has it. Ibrahim Traore passing it around with aplomb. And options in the centre. He's protecting it well. Well, they were clearly on the receiving end, so is next. And on the ball, Jan Borgil. Olayinka. Abdullah Yusuf Helal. 
Well, the cross played over, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. The high press was on, and the chance is on. He's feeling the pressure here. Slipshod passing. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Cleared away comprehensively. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Traore, it needs an accurate cross. Good looking sequence. Teammate in support. Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. This might have potential. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Tibling. He's beaten his man. He must finish! And it's gone in! Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. Second goal for them here. Tipling. A good and fair challenge. He must tread carefully here. Good position on the pitch to be pressing and winning the ball. Must score! Did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner. Substitution time it is. And he's fired over the corner, just far too close to the goalkeeper. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. Shot attempted. We certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, speculative. Worth an effort. Two goals down, why not? Space on the flank. Crossing possibilities. And so it will be a corner. 
And I think it's fair to say that he's had happier days in front of goal, Lee. Yeah, well, the stats don't lie. Not enough has been done by the team, and he has to take some of the blame for that. Too easy to mark, which suggests to me he needs to run around a little bit more. It's not rocket science, Derek. Short corner it is. Pulls it back. And scope for the cross. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Inside the final five minutes now. Given away. Here's Tibbling. By no means on his own here. It looks promising. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And the referee's whistle, that is the end of the story. to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.